Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Sunday Morning Simulcast with Rom Wills. Walk your faith. And this ain't, this ain't, I'm not here to tell you which faith you should practice. That's between you. That's within you. Because ultimately, even if you're in the same denomination with somebody or same temple, same spiritual path, same esoteric tradition, you still, tradition, sorry, you still walk in the path that ultimately that you decide to walk. But then you need to actually walk it, whatever it is. See, one thing I I have a real problem with, and this goes across different spiritual traditions. You have many people who say they're walking this particular path. They'll call themselves certain things, but then their behavior doesn't suggest that. You can't look at them and say, what's up? And I think that's pitiful. I, I think that's pitiful. Cause I've seen I've seen people, you know, they'll say, "Well, I'm I'm this I'm this good. I'm not gonna call any name. I'm not gonna call any names, except for one example. I'll get to that example in a second. Um, they'll say I'm this, I'm that. In fact, they'll try to use it to force people. They'll say I'm this, or try to convince people, like, "Oh yeah, I'm a good person. You should trust me, cause this is what we do." But then their path is something else. The what they actually do is something else. But you got to walk it. You got to walk it. And one example I was thinking about, there was a guy I knew, uh, still know him. And I don't know uh, if he's following any path now, but when I knew him, he was a, <laughs> he was an atheist. He was an atheist. But we used to mess with him sometimes and say, you know, dude, you're a really good Christian. <laughs> and he didn't get mad or anything. Because ironically for an atheist, he actually walked the path of a, a Christian. Or like what some Christians say is their path. He actually walked it. He was he, he did unto others as he would have them do unto him. He followed the golden rule of Jesus. He did it. Atheists did it. But yet uh, at the same time, I knew some others who didn't. Or of Muhammad or of Moses or of Buddha or of Shango. You know, I was just like, well, wait a minute, you saying this, but you're doing something else. And, you know, that's the thing, because, you know, saying words or telling people what you're doing is one thing. But the best sermon is an example. If you shine in the light, that says something. Like my friend who, who, who was an admitted atheist. What if somebody, what if he was following a path? That would do more for people to see it. Because think about something. Think about it. If you want people to see something, you shine a light on it. You don't say anything. You don't have to tell them. It's easy to tell people stuff. People lie all the time. But if you shine a light on it, if you actually doing what your faith calls you to do, because if you really take an honest look at any path, it's all about behavior. And that's any path. It's all about how you treat other people. It's all about your behavior, what you're doing, what you're doing for the world. You don't have to tell them what's up. They'll come to you. They will come to you. They will ask. They will see something. And they will say, well, what did, what, did, what do you do? Where do you go to uh, church? Like, I'm going to tell you what. But I'll get into my path because the reason why I don't really discuss my path is I don't want to unduly influence anybody. Everybody has to find their own path. And that's just, that's, that's just my beliefs. That's that's my faith. That's my walk. But I remember one time I was in a uh, department store and I was just waiting in line, but there was some nice stuff in front of me, but they weren't there. And I never forget the woman came up to me and she was yelling, that's my stuff. That's my stuff. And I said, ma'am, I I saw that that was some nice stuff. If you notice, I'm standing behind it. And she just changed up and she she said, you know, what church you go to? And she was asking all those questions because she could see. Now, I didn't say I practiced anything. I could have been an atheist. I wasn't, but I could have been an atheist right there. But in my walk, I was calm because my path includes being peaceful or trying to be peaceful. It's it's tough, trust me. (laughs) Trust me, it's tough. Let me, just as an aside, eh, none of us walk on water. (laughs) If we were walking on water, we would... We wouldn't need to be here, so, so you know, I'm still growing. And I even told us, you know, ma'am, I'm, 
you know, I'm just trying to be right out here. I didn't need to argue over just some stuff standing in front of me. That just meant I would have been here, what, a minute longer, you know? Plus the uh, checkout woman, she was fine, so I went in a big hurry. <laughs> but uh, in all seriousness, though, people need to see in your behavior. They need to see. And, like, you know, one of the things that annoy me, and it really does, is when people try to convince somebody to join their faith. And I've said to several people, several different people of different faiths, I say, well, why don't you do this? And I've said it to them, and I don't have a problem saying it here. Why don't you just behave the way that your path asks you to behave, and then people going to come to you. You know, and um, then this reportedly was said by the Honorable Elijah Muhammad to uh, Malcolm X. If you have a clean glass of water and a dirty glass of water, which one you going to pick up? So the thing is, show what you got. Had be that clean glass of water. Be that positive person. Be that person that people can see that you represent what you're saying before you even tell them. Imagine what the world would be like if people actually did that. Instead of using their different paths for everything but that. People be using it as a weapon, a tool of control and everything. Imagine what this world would be like if people, if not just a critical mass, an overwhelming majority actually walked the paths. It would be beautiful because regardless of your path, and this is one of the reasons I don't try to promote one or the other. I say people got to find their own. If you look at what the founders of those paths or the people, uh, the um, people that these paths are based on, they were all good people. They were all good people, even if for theological reasons, whatever you don't agree with it, you got to admit these weren't evil people. But I've seen too much evil in the name of a religious path. And let me just be clear, before somebody point to this group or that group, I've seen it in all groups. I've seen it in all groups. And I'm like, how, what, how is that in line with what you practice? You know? So I want y'all to think about that. And just walk it, walk it. If you don't have one, you know what? Walk that. <laughs> Seriously, just walk it. Just, just, you know, stay true to who your path is. I mean, if you're going to say this is what you're doing and everything, just stay true to it. All right? So that's all I have for today, y'all. I want y'all to really think about that. All right? And as I said, like I said, I, I don't promote anything because I have to be fair to people. That's between, that's your, that's your spirit you have to deal with. And you have to be comfortable. Because one of the things with, uh, with me personally, I don't believe in forcing anything. I believe in being that clean glass of water. So that's all I have for today, y'all. I want everybody to keep rising and transforming. Peace.